Joined by Mike Johnson. MJ, you called the Leafs loss on Thursday for us here on TSN. It snapped Martin Jones' four-game win streak. Now the Leafs have got back-to-back -back games Saturday and Sunday against the Avs and the Red Wings. Darren Dreger said on first up this morning he thinks Ilya Samsonov needs to get a game at some point. The other option would be recalling Dennis Hildeby after his AHL start tonight. What do you think they should be doing this weekend? Well, I'm in agreement that somebody else needs to play. So let's get that out of the way, that Martin Jones can't play every game just because he's on a good run, just because he's been good. You have to get a break both physically and mentally, and somebody else has to play. So the question becomes, are you trying to salvage Samson off this year? And if you are trying to salvage him for this year, then yes, he probably does get the game because he'll have to play at some point, build his confidence back up. You can't have a backup that is just there to strictly watch the games and never get in them. So if you believe that his game and mentally and physically has been rehabilitated by his time away, you know, then you get him in and you give him a chance to get going back in a positive direction. You hope the team responds and plays really well in front of him. You hope they crack down defensively, and you hope that he finds what he needs to be good if you want to salvage him. If you don't care about him playing again the rest of the year, then you go get Hildeby. All right, though, who are the top two guys then? Martin Jones is going to be one of your two guys moving forward, I assume. Joseph Wall is going to come back from mm -hmm. injury. So who's going to be your number two and three behind Jones? Well, no, well, Wall is one once he's healthy and ready to play, and then Jones would be two. I think you're going by... Certainly the ceiling, who can be the best goalie. And while Martin Jones has played great, Gino, I think Joseph Wall is the guy who will lead the Toronto Maple Leafs down the stretch and into the playoffs. And then as far as a backup goes, of course it has to be Martin Jones, given what he's shown thus far this season and what Samsonov has shown as well. You can't depend on him to be a backup in a playoff situation. So to me, it goes Wall, it goes Jones, and then it goes... Samsonov, I suppose, or maybe he'll to be. I guess the reason I asked that question is then why do you care about saving Samsonov for this year if he's really not amongst your top three anyway? Anyway, let's let's look at the trade front now. The trade bait board has got several goalies on it. Jacob Markstrom, John Gibson, Jake Allen, and Peter Morazic. The Leafs would love to add some help in net if they could, but with only so much money to go around, they got to figure out where to spend it. And Brad Trelevin right now is likely going to push that money towards a much bigger need. Am I not right here? You're 100% right. It's about prioritizing. Yes, of course they have a need in net. And yes, they'd like an upgrade and more depth or maybe another goaltender, sure. But what they need more than that is a defenseman. They have John Klingberg's money and his roster spot sort of open and available for someone to fill. And they will spend the assets and the cap space to go fill that. And they should. It is a far more important need as opposed to a bit of a luxury to get a third or fourth goaltending option in your rotation. They need a defenseman and a good one, Gino. Not just a depth guy, a periphery guy they need a top four guy that can play big minutes in the playoffs that's what they should spend everything they need to to go get the Leafs rank 20th in goals against this season 13 playoff teams rank ahead of them the only two that are worse the Islanders and Lightning